No, Brent. Um, fortunately, it's the other way around because you're about 400 to zero at the moment behind. And I think we had a sign on screen before you did. So it's more a case of you copying us. But either way, it doesn't really matter to have a leopard in the Mara and the leopard in the Sabi Sands is irrelevant where they are. It's just awesome to have it. It's uh, the best thing ever that we have a day where we've had lions on both sides of the world, leopard on both sides of the world, and then just to throw in a bit of extra, let's just chuck a serval in there as well. It really has been a cat crazy afternoon. So really cool to see. And either way, like I say, it's special that we've got spotted cats on all sides of our feeds at the moment. And I believe a lot of you are excited to see the little prince. Well, after yesterday's performance where he was jumping up and down like a little hooligan with his scrub hair, he really does look absolutely magnificent today and he's i'm surprised he's moved as far as he has given that it's quite warm he's come a long way chitra dam is not exactly close and who knows which way he walked to get to this point but either way i'm not complaining it's just wonderful to have him and hopefully he's going to move further northwards into juma tomorrow morning i am doing a bushwalk so i'm going to try and see if i can come track him down on foot i think that's going to be my plan tomorrow morning because we don't have too many flowers and things just yet so it'll be really cool to track him down also there's a few ellies around unfortunately they've disappeared away from the water so we can't see them anymore but maybe tomorrow morning we'll try and get them as well so it promises to be an exciting morning of walking as well as the fact well that we've got an exciting afternoon ahead of us unfortunately our lions have been left behind because i I'm a self-admitted leopard addict and I can't help it. It's when there is a leopard around it just makes my day every time and I also find it's really nice to have a bit of sort of difference. You know, we've got so many lions in the Mara these days and as much as the Nkuma Pride is great except when they you know they're sleeping and it's hot, it's always nice to have a bit of a difference in amongst all the feeds and to try and sort of go from the serval to the lions and then to a leopard here in the Sabi Sands. It just creates such a nice diversity and just kind of shows you how well they're working hand in hand at the moment. I remember drives when I first started Safari Live where we would go for days without a cat and now I don't, I can't actually remember the last drive we've had where there wasn't a cat seen on drive at all between the two sort of properties. So we really are spoiled these days. We get to see the most amazing stuff and we get so many great sightings that it's just absolutely wonderful. And when you've got a little prince like this that's sitting so close, oh, look at the yawn which I think means that he might roll over. Edward, you're wondering how long re leopards rest for? It depends, Edward. It's, it's not always a constant amount. Look how his ears are flattening. So he's just trying to keep a low profile because there, are, there were some impalas around that shouted at him a bit. Um, but Edward, it depends. They, they, some days they'll rest a lot more than others. Um, I find that leopards are not more as sort of restful as what the lions are. The lions tend to rest a lot more. Look at how he's creeping. Oh, don't go back that way. No, I must come this side. Okay, he's going to come our way. He's just trying to keep a low profile, but look how beautiful that is. Asana, you are as beautiful as you get. Look, he's crawling along right towards the car. He's coming right past us. Hello, beautiful boy. How are you? You can see he's just giving a little look to Seb. Hello. A little sniff of the back tire. There we go. Just making friends with Sebastian on the back. That's about as close as you're ever going to get to a wild leopard. Isn't that ridiculous? You just see his little face peeking out behind the car there. Where are you off to, you silly cat? But now you see how he uses the dam wall to creep along so that things don't shout at him and then once he's down on the other side, he can then sort of go and he's, I'm sure, going to have a drink. So let's quickly jump across and see if we can't get onto the other side there where we can see him drinking. He's got to get past tax at this stage because he's going to go down. It's going to be a little bit of distance visual of him drinking, but it will still be really, really nice as we do. Now, he's probably going to get disturbed at some point by those that must not be mentioned. So if you do see us going off him, it's not because we want to. It's just, unfortunately, he's got some company. Sorry, Seb, I'll be in position in two But it's going to be really nice from this side. It's quite far, but it will be so beautiful because we're going to be directly opposite him, which will be nice. There we go. Just got to get through that little gap and down. And there we go, Seb. How's that? Straight across. 
Listen.